our goalie series is about arc play. Arc play is important because it puts us in a position to make a save on the field. I follow one simple rule on the arc. Less movement equals more saves. We're going to talk about the three, five, and seven point arcs. In each of these arcs, you're going to have to play your angles, have slow controlled mo movements during your arc play, as well as break the field down into three zones. Zone one, zone two, zone three. In each zone, less movement will equal more saves. Now let's get to learning about the three-step arc. First arc we're going to talk about is a three-step arc, otherwise known as a flat arc. We're going to start on the pipe here. Left foot on the pipe. Hands are up. One step. Our first step is going to be our center, our right foot is going to be in the center of the field in the middle of zone two. Right now we're cutting off zone one. Next step, zone two. Heels are almost on GLE in a good, set, good stance here. Next movement, zone three. Top right and back on the pipe. Now the three point arc is as well known as a flat arc because the deeper you play back in the net, the more time you're going to have to see the shot. Now we're going to talk about our five step arc. Now a lot of collegiate goalies still play this arc. Younger goalies learning the position maybe should start playing the five point arc before they get into an advanced level arc like the flat arc or the seven point arc. If we start on this pipe, our first movement in zone one is going to be about six inches off the pipe and we take a step out Unlike the three-point arc where we're flat, we're taking a step out and we're attacking the angle of the shooter. So our first step would be here, one. Second step into zone one, our right foot splits the field in half, and we're in good position here to make a save. Three, you're dead center in zone two. Next step, four, splitting the field in half. Step five, in good position to make the save. Five. You're about six inches off the pipe, and then you're crashing the pipe. That's a five-point arc. Younger goalies should learn and start playing with a five-point arc at the collegiate level. I know a lot of goaltenders prefer the five-point arc just for the fact that they're out above the, uh, above the GLE, and that makes it harder for the shooter to find an angle to shoot the ball in the cage. Next arc we're going to talk about is a seven-point arc, which is more of an athletic style of arc. Um, it's not as popular as it used to be, but still some collegiate goalies and some high school goalies do play this arc. It cuts down the angles, the angles of the shooter tremendously. Goalies tend to take a big step out and play about a foot to a foot and a half off of the, off of the crease line. So we'll start on this pipe. Our first step out is going to be in the zone one. First step, one. Two, basically splitting zone one and a half with our second step on the seven point. Three, our right foot splitting the field in half. And we're in good athletic stance. Four, right down the center. Five, we're splitting the field with our left foot. Six, we're cutting out. We're in the middle of zone three. Seven, and you crash the pipe. The seven point arc. You can also notice that I'm not counting the pipes as steps because in my theory is to believe is that the pipes don't count as a step on our arc and that can go for the three, the five, and the seven point arc. That wraps up video two in our series of goaltending. 